Hey, Snackers. This is Karim Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt DiNapoli. I am one of the managers of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 59 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your 10-minute weekly all things DevNet, where we talk about coding, APIs, or just some cool stuff that we think you might like to know. And the cool thing we're going to talk to you about today um, is CCIE Labs with our first, with our guest, um, Jeff Anderson. Jeff, do you mind introducing yourself? Sure. I'm Jeff Anderson. I've been uh, in learning and certifications at Cisco for a little over five years, and I've been responsible for both enterprise and service provider certifications. Um, and I just uh, wanted to uh, get a chance to talk to you guys and tell you a little bit about uh, some uh, uh, product offering that we've just uh, released to the field. So uh, these are called uh, Cisco Practice Labs or, or CCIE Practice Labs? They're, they're actually CCIE Practice Labs. Um, and okay. we, we put these together. So when we did the, if you've been in the Cisco certification realm for any time, um, you probably are aware that back in early 2020, we made some significant changes to the program. Um, and one of the things that we did was switching from CCIE routing and switching, or RNS as we f familiarly call it, to uh, Cisco CCIE enterprise infrastructure. Um, this was the first time at the CCIE level that we brought in intent-based networking. So that meant DNA Center, um, and that meant uh, you needed uh, you know, Cisco Catalyst 9000 series switches to be able to test and you know, validate your skills and to prepare for the exam. Those are actually very difficult to come by as an individual. So, you know, CCIE candidates in general typically have a large rack of gear in their garage or in their workstation. Um, and they tend to wire things up and test them and try configurations and do troubleshooting. That's very difficult uh, with uh, the, uh, the newer technologies. So to help people who are on their journey and preparing for their CCIE enterprise infrastructure, and at the time there was somewhere around 1600 people in that in that space. So we kind of knew that there was quite a few people who uh, were in this situation. Um, we decided that we needed to give them access to the gear. Um, this is something that we started in middle of 2020, and we had various ideas about how to go about it, uh, including leveraging labs from our other um, other training classes that had the, uh, the situation and the gear that was required for this. Um, but ultimately, we decided that, you know, it made sense for us to actually give access to the entire CCIE lab pod. So the product itself, as it's released today, is a CCIE practice lab. You are able to reserve a four hour block on the actual gear with the actual access that you will have when you are sitting your exam for a very reasonable fee uh, for rental time. So it's uh, right currently priced at $50 for a four hour block and you wow. can do with it as whatever you want. Um, and so far, it's been hugely successful. We've uh, booked over 100 uh, sessions of it since it launched less than seven days ago. I think about this time last Tuesday, it went live. Um, and over 40 people have already executed labs on it. So we're really happy to see that. So besides making it convenient for the you know, the person that's going and planning and investing into a CCIE exam, what can a candidate do within that practice exam, a practice lab? Sorry. That's a really good question. Um, so essentially, you are given access to all the equipment, all the configuration. You can do with it as you will. However, we've also created a series of uh, scenarios. So essentially, they're exercises so that when you select and book your time, uh, you get to choose from one of these five scenarios. They're, they're around you know, basic routing in an SD-WAN environment or um, some SDA configuration and troubleshooting and optimization. Um, so again, you can zoom in on something that you have uh, specific uh, shortfalls or deficits in your knowledge and you want to improve upon it, or you can go completely off the reservation. So if you have something that you're dreaming up on your whiteboard in your room, um, you get the chance to spend four hours to game out your situation. So it's, it's a really cool level of access. Um, so can anyone access these? It sounds like if you made it relatively easily available, but I feel like there are some prerequisites before we can actually go and play with this, uh, this uh, environment. Yeah. <laughs> Since we are actually sharing these pods with the CCIE practical exam, uh, they aren't unlimited in capacity. Um, even though they are only four hour blocks. So what we are requiring is that the people who register for this have to also be qualified to spit the CCIE practical exam. That means that you, if you aren't 
ready for taking the practical exam, if you haven't qualified by taking the written portion of that, which is the EN core exam, uh, you're not going to be able to log into the environment to to schedule this. So uh, unfortunately, we you know we don't want we can't actually support looky loos around on this one. We don't want to give everybody <laughs> access to it, um, and we felt that this was a a reasonable uh, limitation um, to provide access to it. You know, the goal is to truly ensure that the folks preparing for their practical exam that are sit sit down sit the practical exam are ready for it and give them access to the gear. Um, Jeff, you currently offer labs, as we said, for CCIE Enterprise Networking and CCIE Security. Um, what are your plans for future labs, especially given that the, the DevNet Expert exam is coming out um, soon? Um, what, are, what are the plans for that? So we are currently working on how we can expand this out. Our goal is to get to providing this to all of the uh, CCIE practical exams. Uh, so you know, I think next up, what we're looking at is pretty closely at uh, at data center. Um, but you know, the DevNet expert is something that's just around the corner. So that is something that uh, we'll keep in mind as well. So the goal is to make sure that we provide this capacity, this capability for anybody who is properly seeking the uh, their their CCIE. So I presume that since you guys are using the same pods that are used for the actual practical exam, the practice labs are, there's the same amount of access that they would have for, for the actual exam itself. Yes, exactly. And you know, you, it, it, it's, you can think of it also as a good way to take a bit of the first interface jitters. The first time you set the exam, you have to figure out how to access yeah. it the jump host, which SSH clients to use, how to connect to things. You can do all that in the comfort of your home without actually spending your $1,600 to reserve an exam and possibly blow your first session to it. So, you know, we don't know yet for sure, but we certainly hope that this reduces the number of times of people who fail on their first attempt and reduce some of those you know, those uh, nervousness of that that first interaction with the CCIE practical exam. I wonder if there are CCIEs right now that are sitting there going, man, this would have been awesome to have just, you know, <laughs> last year or 10 years ago. This is, I mean, such an awesome offering um, for, for us to put out there. That's that's great. And there's no there's no limitations on how many times I can I can book those four hour blocks, right? Nope. But you can only book one of them at a time. So I, you can't like book six hours or six sessions all at once. You have to, to do them once at a time, but we don't think that's too much of a limitation. And while while we're talking about this and we're getting more information, where where would I go to get all of this beyond DevNet Slack Minute? So the, the place to go to get started on this is going to be the learningnetwork.cisco.com. Uh, and you will see banner ads for that. And we will put in the description below the links to the, you know, the short links to get to the, uh, the information page. We have a full uh, at a glance guide that we have a set of frequently asked questions uh, and we have instructions, uh, a walkthrough for how to uh, engage on this. You know, often, you know, you will use the exact same process you use in the same portal, the same look and feel uh, as booking your practical exam. But if this is your first time of taking a CCA practical exam, uh, this will walk you through the process of registering once you have uh, qualified for it. So. Uh, a lot of great information will be available at that link, and I hope that you all look it up. You know, we had we did an episode around uh, DevNet Expert exam, and we were talking about what are some of the devices on, you know, how do you prepare for this exam? And one of the things that came up were um, eliminate the unknown, right? And so um, before you getting into the exam, this is this is a great opportunity for that, right? Where you you just know exactly what you're going to get. You're exposed to it on your own time. So when you're walking into the exam, you kind of just focus on actually the content as opposed to knowing the tools and what's around it. So it's 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 a great, a great offer. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we are uh, running short on time, Jeff. But before we let you go, since you're a first time guest and we ask this of all of our guests, our first time guests, um, what superpower would you like to have and why? You know, if I had to choose one, I think I would pick the ability to stop the clock so that I can get some things accomplished that time goes by too fast to do. Yes, that is that we've heard something similar to that before, but I think yours was a little more uh, focused. So that's an that's an awesome one. I would love that every day. <laughs> um, so snackers, uh, go. <laughs> I had a button for it. 
I'd be pressing it right now. <laughs> Stop. Uh, so snackers, um, go check out the information on the uh, Cisco Practice Labs uh, in support of your your CCIE journey. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for joining us for yet another episode of DevNet Snack Minute, and thank you Jeff for for giving us all this great information. Thank you. Great. Thanks for having me on. It's a good time. <laughs>